everyone, it's Brittany. Um, this is day one of Italy. Dom and I are on our honeymoon, so I thought I would make a travel video. We have had unbelievably bad luck so far. Um, let me just give you a quick rundown of what we were supposed to do originally and what we're doing now. And of course, we're making the most of it because it would be silly not to. Um, we were supposed to go to Sicily only. We were going to fly in from Rome, Rome to Palermo, and then have nine days in Sicily. And we had a family emergency when we were in the airport leaving the United States, and we had to leave the airport and have a two-day delay. We went back to the airport. Everything was running smoothly. We got to Rome, no problem, great flight. We get to Rome. <laughs> yesterday and there was a fire in the airport a massive fire which can caused all these cancellations um, Palermo can't we there's no air uh, airplanes going to Palermo for three days um, we tried to rent a car there's no cars the big the trains were full we tried everything we could to figure out how to get to Sicily um, and then finally, after like seven hours of being in the airport, we just gave up and our bags are also lost. So I don't have a bag or anything with me pretty much. We had to just kind of buy some stuff yesterday. L luckily we have some travel insurance, but so we are in Rome <laughs> until Tuesday. We're stuck in Rome for three days, which isn't a bad place to be stuck. So we're trying to make the most of it. Um, we didn't have any plans at all to be in Rome, so we didn't do any research. Um, but we are just going to see what happens and I'm going to take you guys, you know, we're going to do the touristy stuff, the ruins and, but I'm going to hopefully get a lot of food video videos for you guys and cross your fingers for me that they find our bags, um, and that we finally make it to Sicily on Tuesday. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy Rome. I thought I would just show you briefly our, um, hotel room which is a bit messy but it's very very lovely um you know it's it was a little bit pricey for us but we didn't really have a choice a lot of hotels were booked up due to the um stuff going on in the airport a lot of travelers getting stuck in rome during this time so this is our bathroom fancy and uh we have a nice bathtub and this is our beautiful, very simple, yet very clean and comfortable um, hotel room. And uh, we have a nice little view out here that I will show you. Okay. It's a very pretty little neighborhood. There's a lemon tree down below. Uh, called Rayleigh 6 via... Tolmino. Okay. We found a really good what pasticceria? Is that what it's called? I think that was just the uh, all bakery. Yeah. And it had cookies. Pasticceria. We got we got some little biscotti. We got raspberry Linzer tart. I don't know what they call it in Italian. And little Nutella. I'm gonna try the Nutella one for you. Mmm. -hmm. This one, I'm mostly excited for apricot jam. Mm. Great. Oh, that's Lamani and pasta. We're gonna eat there for lunch, and we know about it from David Liebowitz, Liebowitz, who's a famous pastry chef. He's American, but he lives in Paris. And we heard about it through his blog, so we're gonna eat there. And we're very excited about it. 
cosa brutta Okay, so this is night number two. Buonasera, buonasera. Buonasera. This is night number two of our dinner, dinner, dinner on the terrace. <laughs> dinner on the terrace. Dinner on the terrace. Um, we had a very large and very delicious, amazing lunch. We had like a bottle of wine that was really good, and uh, veal salt and boca and pasta and just a lot of food so we don't need to have a whole full sit-down restaurant meal tonight and we are enjoying this kind of thing way too much anyway I mean look you know we have like it's just a beautiful day here in Rome so what we have for dinner tonight artichokes are in season right now so we went and got some artichokes this is some kind of soft cheese uh, let's find out what it's called formaggio Vaccino Caprimor. This is some kind of like chicken cold cut. It's like chicken and then there's like egg and olive and carrot. Olives and carrot. It's just a like strange. a nice cold cut. I like it. Save me that little piece. This is a really good cheese. What is this? Like a pecorino? pecorino? Some bread. Um, these are my favorite. These are stuffed cherry peppers. I think they're stuffed with breadcrumb and capers. Some more anchovies because we're crazy about anchovies. And we have our cookies from earlier today, and of course, a bottle of wine. Say hi, Dan. Hi. Look at what is right in front of us. Oh, hell yeah, we are about to go on a trip around the Coliseum. <laughs> a Taiwan box to make a left and if you live in Taiwan you'll know what we're talking about but um, they don't have that here <laughs> Doc just made it up so uh, we're about to cross the what is it called the Tiber River yeah. Tiber River we're trying to make it near the Vatican yeah we're trying to go towards the Vatican because that's gonna take us to this market I can't remember the name off of, uh, of it off the top of my hand but it's uh, a market that we're heading to. So here we go. Monte Mario. Monte Mario. Okay. All right, so we just went to the market right Trionfale market um, it's kind of near the Vatican we rented scooters so it's easy for us to get to and so we bought some lunch at the Trionfale market so now we are up at this park that is overlooking the city and it is absolutely amazing to see Rome in this kind of way so um, I'll put the link below the name tell you what I got from the market and we're gonna eat some of this 
for lunch and then some of it we'll save for whatever. So we got some fresh hazelnuts. They're really good. They were only about they're three. Toasted. They're toasted. I'll tell you prices. They were around three US dollars. We got the end piece of, I don't even know what this is. I don't know what kind of cold cut that is, but it's very delicious. And it's the end piece, so it was only, I think it was like a dollar about. It was 90. 90 euro. Cent euro. 90 cent euro, so it was like a dollar. These are wild strawberries. They're in season right now, and we tried them, and they taste very different from regular strawberries. They're much more fragrant and perfumey. They're absolutely amazing. We got some fresh buffalo mozzarella, um, and we're gonna split it. It's a, like a little bit pricey. I can't remember how much this one was. We got a small one, because we don't need that much. We got some fresh zucchini blossom pizza. It's like a white pizza. Um, we got some artichoke salad. Artichokes are in season right now. So it's definitely, we're eating sal artichokes every single day while we're here. This is for me, this is like a stuffed eggplant. It reminds me of something my mom would, would have made. This I have no idea, so let me take a bite and let you know. Mmm, <laughs> okay, totally not what I was expecting. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There's some kind of meat inside with some kind of cheese on it. It's really good. Mm. Okay. And then I brought to take home to the States some crushed red chili flakes. They were a little expensive. They were like five for this small amount. They were about like five US dollars. But I think that's pretty standard and they're good quality and you can't really find authentic Italian pepperoncino in the States. So I thought this was good. And then this is um, a dried seasoning blend for arrabbiata when you make like penne arrabbiata. It looks like it's like parsley and crushed red chili flakes and some dried garlic slices. It's, I love eggplant, but I mean, I grew up eating eggplant constantly, but. Um, what is it? Well, it's, you know, cooked a lot with olive oil. They probably fry it first in a shallow fry. And then it's stuffed with breadcrumb and a lot of anchovy. So Ooh. it's like, oh, and then it has um, sun-dried tomatoes on top. I'll take okay. another bite. It's like the the recipe from that 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 cookbook that your mom got for me. Remember that big? It has stuff stuff that plant. Mm. Mm. I don't know if this is anchovy or tuna. I think it's tuna actually. Really? It is really good. Dom's about to try buffalo di mozzarella. I think okay. I might have it backwards, but... Oh, the buffalo mozzarella. I don't know. So this is really fresh, and you came in the bag with the, with the brine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, So you just pull it out of there, and now it's like a cheesicle. A cheesicle. So... Tell us how it tastes. <laughs> oh, my God. This is, it's so not supposed to be eaten like this. <laughs> we are just sloppy-ass <laughs> Americans, aren't yeah. we? Mmm, how is it? It tastes like it came from really delicious milk, mm -hmm. and now it has become really delicious cheese. Yeah, the easement of the Vatican City right now. You can look and you can see all the trees surrounding the Vatican. All that is like sectioned off from the rest of the city. Sistine chapels. I grew up Catholic, so it's kind of really cool for me to see this. I'm not a practicing Catholic, but it's still um, it's still really nice for me to be able to see it. It's my roots.
so we are uh, kind of on the outskirts of the city. I really don't know what the neighborhood is. Okay, let's go. And we're at a giant place called Italy, and it's owned by Lydia Bastianich and Mario Batale. And apparently they have one in New York City too, but we have no idea and we've never been there. And we were told that we should definitely go here. It's a giant, giant market full of Italian ingredients. So we're checking it out. Okay, let's see how it is. Look, I found Dom in a book. It's Dom. It's AKA Joe Bastianich. Dominic Alonji. <laughs> Take it away. Tom and I are going to try this one. Mortadella with truffles. Crispy bacon cake. Wow. It's bad. So apparently the cool thing to do in Italy these days, or at least in Rome, is drink beer. We've uh, been noticing a lot of, uh, like, craft beer stores popping up around Rome with a lot of young kids outside the store drinking, so, um, you know, it's kind of trendy. So we're at a pizza place in Rome, and we got the pizza with tomato sauce, cheese, mozzarella cheese, and eggplant. We also got fried bacala, and we got Fried artichoke again because we're on our artichoke. It's not fried. Yeah. It's not. No. Well, no, it's not. But it's. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna take a little bite of each for you very quickly, and then we can start eating. What do I get? Video me. Amazing. Amazing. I don't know how to describe it though. I guess I'm fish here. Like fish. Really, really good. <laughs> it's really fresh. Well, it's not as salty as I thought. And this I'm going to just eat, okay? Give me a chance. Quiet in. So we've got veal and potatoes. Veal and potatoes. And potatoes look like really yummy. You're going to love this. Roasted potatoes. You're going to love it. Mom. Can you say Mama Mia? No. Well. <laughs> Mixed grilled vegetables, stuffed fried olives, bacalao again. Delicious bite that I've had. Oh yeah. The whole time. Bacalao is good. Yeah. 